Okay, this is MISLEC 40, and we're going to try and solve this system of equations by using an inverse. Here's basically how that works. So this would make an equation, basically a linear system equation that would look like this. I have a matrix A, and that's basically the coefficient matrix of this left side. And that's times my variable matrix X, which has four members, X1, 2, 3, 4. And then that's equal to this solution matrix B. Well, if this were just an ordinary algebraic expression, I would just divide both sides by A, and I would get X equals B over A. The problem is I can't take a vector B and divide it by a matrix that contains uh, four by four columns. There's no mechanism for doing uh, matrix division. We barely have a comfortable mechanism for doing uh, matrix multiplication. Okay, so what do we do instead? Well, let's exploit this idea of an inverse. If I can find the inverse of matrix A, look what I can do. I can take inverse of A times A on the left side. And then on the other side, I can take inverse of A times B on the right side. Well, I know that inverse of A times A is just the identity matrix. And the identity matrix times any matrix or vector of the same dimension just returns that vector. So this left side will still be the x vector, x1, 2, 3, 4. And look at this, the right side is just the product of the inverse matrix times the solution vector. And that should be an easy product to work out, and that product will be the solution. Now, of course, this will make a singular solution. In other words, A, uh, the inverse of A will end up uh, producing for me a uh, uh, basically a, a single solution to it. So that means this matrix better be non-singular. Because uh, if it's singular, then it's going to produce multiple solutions, in which case it won't have an inverse. So this only works if, uh, if a to the minus 1 exists. So what we're going to do first is just write uh, the a matrix, just to show you the coefficient matrix. So it's going to be uh, 1, 1, 3, 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 4, and negative 1, 1, 4, 10, 2 and negative 2, 0, negative 4, 5. So this is the 4 by 4 matrix, that's matrix A. And then of course we're, uh, we're saying it's equal to the solution matrix. So the solution matrix is B, and that's negative 4, forward negative 20, and 9. Well, what I, what I want really is to multiply B times the inverse of A. So I went ahead and, and made the uh, 4 by 8 matrix that, that basically converts this guy by doing the reduced row echelon form. I won't show you all the work for that, but this is what it ends up producing. So here's my A to the minus 1. That is the inverse matrix, uh, and it's nasty. It's 38, 96, 39, negative 16, 18, 47, negative 19, negative 8, negative 5, negative 12, 5, 2, and then the last column is negative 2, negative 5, 2, and 1. So that's the inverse matrix from this original coefficient matrix, which means I should now be able to take that times the solution matrix and get my answer x. So x should be equal to this guy, A minus 1 times B. And when I do that, when I take this guy times this, remember I'm only going to get four, uh, a, a single four column uh, or a single one column vector of four members because all of these guys are going to turn and make a column which multiplies 38 times negative 4, 18 times 4, negative 5 times negative 20, negative 2 times 9, and then all that's going to be added together to make this uh, top value. I've already worked that out. And the solution actually turns out to be nice. So it's 2, negative 1, negative 2, and 1. And all of that is the result of the product of this matrix times this vector. That matrix multiplication will produce this vector column and that's the solution to this system. Now, you might wonder, you know, this is an interesting application, and it relates uh, matrix arithmetic to sort of regular old arithmetic and algebraic arithmetic that we're used to. What value does it have, though? I mean, if I need to use technology to evaluate the inverse of a matrix, 
uh, what value is there in using the inverse when I could just go back here and, and find the reduced row echelon form? And that's a, per, a perfectly valid question, which is for solving systems of equations, the inverse isn't as valuable as you think, but we're going to find the inverse has an enormous number of applications that do have value.